Good morning, kids! Our lesson for today is hyponyms. Have fun and enjoy learning. I'm Teacher Job, your English teacher. For our objectives, we have number one, define hyponyms. Number two, identify hyponyms of a word. Number three, give examples of hyponyms. Number four, give the hyponym of some hyponyms. Let us have an activity. Group the words that go together. We have the words Sampagita, Red, Lion, Cell Phone, Nara, Coconut, Tiger, Yellow, Rose, Tablet. Let us find out the words that go together. The words Sampagita and Rose are hyponyms of a flower. Red and Yellow are hyponyms of a color. Lion and tiger are hyponyms of an animal. Nara and coconut are hyponyms of a tree. Cell phone and tablet are hyponyms of a gadget. The words sampagita, rose, red, yellow, lion, tiger, nara, coconut, cell phone, and tablet are hyponyms because these are words of more specific meaning. Then what do we call the words flower, color, animal, tree, and gadget? We call them the hyperneme because they are the general concept for the hyponyms mentioned a while ago. Words that can be placed into the same category are called hyponyms. These are words of more specific meaning and the general concept for these hyponyms is called hyperneme. Now let us try this. Sampagita and Rose are hyponyms. They are the hyponyms of the hyperneme flower. Red and Yellow are hyponyms. They are the hyponyms of the hyperneme color. Lion and Tiger are hyponyms. They are the hyponyms of the hyperneme animal. Nara and Coconut are hyponyms. They are the hyponyms of the hyperneme tree. Cell phone and tablet are hyponyms. They are the hyponyms of the hyperneme gadget. Let us classify the hyponyms inside the box. known as hyperneme. Thank you for watching kids and do not forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. Keep safe and God bless everyone.